Following breaking news here just in this morning, three suspects are in custody after leading police on a pursuit just within the last hour and a half. Our crews on the scene this morning. This was near Southwest 66th and Western where the suspects vehicle crashed. Police say they got reports of car break ins near Southwest 97th and Western. When they arrived, the suspects sped away before crashing. Authorities say the suspects did try to run away from the scene, but all three of them were caught. Developing overnight and just into our newsroom here, a teen and one passenger have died after a crash just northwest of Enid. Police say a 19 year old was driving and allegedly failed to stop at a stop sign. That's when a truck uh, truck driving down Highway 132 hit them. The car was pushed off the road and into a power pole. Both the driver and passenger sadly passed away on the scene. The two people in the truck, though, are expected to be OK. And some more sad news this morning. New this morning, a double drowning under investigation in Pawnee County. Authorities say it happened at around 4 p.m. on Monday. The two men, one 74, the other one 87, fell into the water after their boat capsized. Authorities say only one of them was using a flotation device. Both men died at the scene. Developing right now out of Spencer this morning, one person has been shot multiple times. Police say some sort of altercation happened near Spencer Road and Northeast 34th Street. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office says the victim was approached by a vehicle and after an argument, the driver made a U-turn, shot the victim in the street and sped off. That person was taken to the hospital and is expected to be OK. The search for the shooter is still underway this morning. Well, happening today, plans to improve Oklahoma's existing turnpikes could move forward. In just a few hours from now, the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority will hold its monthly board meeting. KCO Zach Rael joins us live this morning with more details on what we can expect out of that meeting. Zach. Well, Jason Shelby, a lot of items to get to during this board meeting for later this morning. One of the big ticket items, the board will consider approving a $200 million line of credit to help fund upcoming projects. This is all part of Access Oklahoma. Now that is OTA's 15 year $5 billion improvement plan. That plan includes widening the Turner Turnpike to six lanes between OKC and Bristow, as well as adding more on and off ramps and adding relief routes around the OKC Metro. Also on the agenda would be a speed limit increase on the Indian Nation Turnpike near McAllister to 80 miles per hour. Also, they plan to honor two turnpike workers for their heroic efforts during our state's last round of snowstorms. A lot to get to during this meeting. It begins at 1030 this morning. We will keep you updated. For now, reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.